Hello there everybody, Striker here, welcome back to a new uh, plugin showcase. We are going to be showcasing a dynamic map, basically I'm going to show you guys how you can set up this Google Earth style plugin for your Minecraft server. And you can see your whole world pretty much, you can see players, you can talk to players through the map as well, you can see different types of block claims, uh, which is pretty sweet. And so we're going to be demonstrating this on uh, Plexus MC, that is today's video sponsor, so make sure you guys stick around later to see some of the very cool and unique features that they have to offer for their townie survival server. So let's go ahead and get started with the plugin showcase. So here's the web page, and currently, as you see, people are chatting, so the chat does pop up, and it even uh, pops up down here in the left corner. But as you can see, here is your uh, style of map, and they have uh, the world border right here, so this is in the red right above here, and then they are running specifically towny. So if you come down over here, you can see this whole town, and you can see who owns it. So you can see the name of the specific land, you can see where it's located, and how much they have, as well as their associates. So if you come over here, and and it, as you see, we have the world border, we have players as well as markers, and this is running townie, so it does uh, hook in with the townie plugin, which is pretty cool. So you can see all the different types of lists, and you can see where it's located. So if we zoom all the way out, here's the shipyard, and you can go back to the open ocean. And then if you come over here to the right hand side, you can see how many players are online, and then you can, you know, click on them, and that will take you to them. So currently, there is uh, some people down over here, and they're a uh, pretty small claim. It looks like they're just getting started, but let's basically what it looks like so I'm going to show you guys how you can set this up for your own server. Alrighty guys so once you have installed the Nymap plugin there's a lot of files in here that are going to be generated and so what's really cool about this plugin is that you can actually add uh, more different types of texture packs you can uh, change the specific theme you can you can do quite a bit of things to be honest but I'm going to show you guys just how to set it up and we're going to be going into the configurations. In here, you can actually change uh, the different types of resolution that you can have. So the higher resolutions will load a little bit longer than if you did a quicker resolution. So there's a lot of uh, configurations that you guys can dwell with in here. But we're just going to ahead and get this set up first of all. So you want to do Control F or Control Find, and we're going to find the TCP port. And so this is what it is necessary to use in order for everything to load and register properly. So I'm using Revive Node, and you can come to the Allocation Settings, and so pretty much anything that isn't your primary port is what you're going to be using uh, for the plugin to hook onto. So pretty much any type of port, as I said, it depends on your hosting provider. So if you guys need an additional port, typically you can just make a support ticket, and uh, we can go ahead and add that to you. But this is the one that's going to be for me, and that's pretty much it, honestly. So uh, once you have done that, there's a lot of other features in here that if you want to change it, you totally can. As I mentioned, I'm just going to show you guys the basic setup. So once you have that, um, you can pretty much save it and then restart your server. If you guys want to join a great towny survival server that is a community driven and not paid to win, Plexus MC is the server for you. It is now open after 9 months of solid development and teamwork and setups. You guys can now join the server. And when you go ahead and join, you can actually rank up using in-game money and experience, which is pretty awesome. And then you can go ahead and select your job. You guys will not get bored with how many unique features that this server has. You can gain uh, multiple different types of items from custom drops, and you can craft those items to get even better and amazing custom gear. There is a set of Octavia's Heart, which is one of the drops from the bosses, and this actually gave me a super OP pickaxe. I was able to tear through pretty much every everything and make everyone jealous as you see right there but there is uh, so many fun things guys there is a lot of unique and custom bosses that are going to be implemented into the future there's currently one a pretty bad boss that you guys can kill and in this example probably these will be implemented later on in the future so you guys can look forward to that but here is one of the bosses this is the octavia boss and you guys can fight to the death for this boss to get one of those octavia hearts it will give you a really good random level of either a loot or armor or tools or something so really cool stuff come join on 1.16.3 and make some friends in this townie survival community so once you have restarted your server, now we can go ahead and go to our Google map. And so uh, as you see here is my IP address for our specific port that we associated with Dyn Map. And so this could be a different IP address than your primary one, but just go ahead and use whatever IP address is associated with it. And then go ahead and make a new tab in Google. And go ahead and put it in there with the specific port. So we have 8103. So we'll do the colon and then 8103 and go ahead and hit enter. And look at that guys. Now we have our Google map of our Earth. So let me go ahead and 
actually join the server real quick on my uh, account. And so, uh, as you see, we should be loaded in here in a second. Uh, and there we go, guys. As you see, we are now on our server. We have full hearts, which is awesome. So if you guys want to render your map in full and just kind of let it generate, you need to do the command at dine map and then full render and then you can either just enter it into the world that you're in or you can specify the world uh, via console. And so that will go ahead and start to generate the world and it's best to use the world border plugin so you can set the specific area to let the plugin know how far to generate. But if you don't have the world border plugin, it will pretty much just start to generate the whole world. So then on our map, we can actually go over to the right hand side, we can have like a, a 3D view, which is pretty cool. So you can see, um, you know, your 3D view of where you're at, you can see the different hills and everything. So really cool stuff. And then this even contains the world nether as well. So if we go to the nether, oh, that looks so weird, guys. Actually, let me go ahead and teleport to the nether on my other screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the nether on my other screen. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Wow, this actually looks really cool. But you can see all the different types of uh, 1.6 biomes that we have in here in the nether which is pretty awesome not gonna lie so that's really cool that you can do this so that concludes my plugin that showcase of how to use nine map if you have any more questions or you want to see more explanation of how to add resource packs or how to add a few more features using this plugin be sure to let me know down in the comments below i will see you guys in the next video have a good one peace out